hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you very much for joining me in today's video we are going to calculate the equation of the least square regression line which is also known as your line of best fit or your linear model so let's move on so we want to calculate the slope and the y-intercept in the form y hat how is this in is equal to a plus bx we are given critical points we have the mean of x the standard deviation of x we have the mean of y standard deviation of y and we have our correlation coefficient with these values we can find the slope and the y-intercept so let's put a few formulas on the board so for slope is denoted by b and that's equal to r sy over sx that's our slope for our y-intercept that's denoted by the letter A, and that's equal to y bar minus B of x bar. So with this, we can find the value of A, the value of B. Let's get on. So to find B, we need to know what is R. R is 0 0.5. We need to know what is S, Y, and S, Y is 7. And that's divided by sx, and sx in this case is 4. So as we know, the slope can be positive, negative. So once we do this calculation, we will know what the value of our slope is. Give me a second, guys. All right, so once you're going to be calculating your slope, remember they are multiplying right here. So we have to work that part first. On your calculator, try not to put everything at once because it will change your value unless you have the fraction um, symbols indicated there. So right here, I have a 3.5 divided by 4. And yeah, guys, I don't do math in my head, so you'll see me using my calculator. So in this case, B is equal to 0 0.875. You can leave your answers at two decimal places or three. It's perfectly fine. Just don't round off too quickly. It will change your, your values. Now we want to find the y-intercept, which is your a value. So a is equal to y bar minus b of x bar. In this case, y bar is denoted by 18 from your table minus b. We found b in the initial stage right down here. So I'm going to put that value right here. And you will see me using the parentheses because sometimes the slope can be negative and that will affect what happens right here so you have to ensure that you pay attention to that x bar is the mean of x and that's 30. with this section once you have a calculator you can plug everything at once if you do not have a calculator you can do the multiplication section first then you combine it with the front part but since i have one i'm going to use the calculator to put in my values So right here, um, A is equal to negative 8.25. Now I found my slope, B, and I found my y-intercept. Now it's time for me to go and put it in the equation. So y hat is equal to A, negative 8.25 plus B, which is 0 0.8. 75x and there you go finding your school opening intercept if i'm your teacher you're going to be given three points for that region three points of this region are two or maybe two here and three here something like that and then that's total of five points so once you show working you should get your maximum points all right i hope i didn't move too fast if i did 